Alright, what's up people? You know who it is. It's your boy Hustler88. Welcome to the channel. I know it's been a minute, but it is what it is. I've been posting videos in, a, in quite some time. Um, the reason why, because, you know, I have a busy life outside of gaming, but this is not what this topic is about. What I want to talk about is the Sony conference at E3. You know, I've been late for like, I mean, it's been like two weeks or either a week probably last week that it came out but anyway i already did the microsoft conference now it's time for me to do the sony conference my impressions my first thoughts on it what's my opinions of it you know what's my perspective on it um first of all sony hands down to sony probably to sony because you know sony pretty much hands down like every presentation that they brought was just nothing but games no bs no nothing like all games it's all gameplay all exclusives that the exclusives that they show was very intriguing um some was so okay was dull some i mean at the middle of it it was kind of dull but at the end of the day the gameplay of itself like every gameplay that they show at e3 was just phenomenal every aspect of it um, I wrote down a list on my phone, just bear with me, but the first game that they showed was God of War. The only title that they put in was God of War, it was nothing else, it was nothing new. The title of itself was just God of War. Um, when I saw the gameplay of it, I said to myself, wow, they got a new character, but it's not Kratos, it's somebody else. And he's playing with his, with his son, but... With the gameplay, you can see the like the graphics is more details, is more animated now in terms of the AI, the artifacts, intelligence. Um, pretty much he is not Kratos, but it's actually the new character in the game. I'm not too sure about God of War. I played God of War, but I haven't played the whole sequel of it. Um, the last one that I played was God of War. It came out on the PlayStation 3. It came out in 2013. It was like the beginning of 2013. Um, I haven't finished playing that game, but the God of War to me was it was a really good game. It was a really it was gore, but at the same time, the game was yeah it was God of War 3. Um, the game was just so immersive. It was so fun. It was so intriguing to play. But with this game, like I'm not too sure that they took they took this game to a different route. And I'm not too sure about this game because, you know, I don't know how it's going to go out in terms of the sales, in terms of the gameplay. You know, the gameplay, I'm not lying, the gameplay is just so immersive. Um, With this new character, this new character is, is instilling his son to learn how to hunt, you know, properly in this game. Um, Pretty much this game is just, it's going to come out, I think it's going to come out in 2017. And, you know, I'm really excited about it, but at the same time, I'm really skeptical about it. Um, now they show, they also showed, uh, what else they showed? They showed Days Gone. That's a new IP of the game. Well, yeah, the new IP of the PS4 exclusives. Um, Days Gone is pretty much like a zombie game. I'm really excited about it. Like, the gameplay was just astounding. The graphics was more astounding. Um... When they first showed the game, like, it was just a sequel. I mean, it wasn't like a sequel, but it was pretty much like a uh, a cinematic trailer of the game. Um, pretty much, they showed, like, gameplay afterwards. And the gameplay of itself was really good. You know, I can tell, like, they put a lot more emphasis towards it. It's sort of like The Last of Us, but it's a lot more detailed. Um, they never brought out like the release date of it. They still in development as I did some research on it They still in development right now and I can't wait for it to come out Then they showed the last of Guardian that's supposed to come out October the 13th um, I'm really excited about that game. I'm not really like too excited about it, but I just got to do some research on it You know pretty much look into it a little bit more see what people think about it you know, I don't buy games based on what others think, based on the review of what others 
have to say about it. I go on my own instinct. You know what I mean? I just can't go on what other people have to say about it. And then if they say, oh, this game is whack, I'm not going to go buy it. No, I'm going to buy it for myself. I'm not going to go buy what people have to say about it. Um, the Last of Guardian, they showed it at um, the previous E3s. Um, I was pretty impressed towards it, pretty much. Like, the graphics was, like, more detailed um, in terms of the, you know, the destructible environment. Um, I mean, they went further into the gameplay. I mean, it was really good. You know, it was a really good gameplay. Um, it's supposed to come out October 13th. I don't know if the hype is going to be real, but hopefully it'll probably be real. I don't know. Um, just tell me what you think about it, you know, below. But, um, what else? Horizon Zero Dawn. Wow. Like, that's supposed to come out, like, not October, but, um, February the 28th of next year they're probably going to delay i can tell i got a feeling they're going to delay the game but horizon zero nine based on the gameplay it got me to the point where it's like man i gotta go buy this game like like the gameplay of itself like it just the environment was just so like detailed like the ai was so detailed you encountered like different robots different um I mean, it's, it's so much, like, man, like, you, you can count, so, like, you, you pretty much can pretty much deal with, you know, different, um, robots in the game. I don't know what they call, but you can actually transform them into, you know, you know, you can actually ride into different machines. I mean, the whole nine, like, they put the game into them, um, uh, a millennium type of vibe into the game pretty much but the game of itself i'm definitely going to cop this that game pretty much not well i'm going to see for myself i got to do some research on it you know just to ensure that the game is is up to par um you know when it's so overhyped it got to the point where it's like if it gets overhyped and then when you get the game you're going to be disappointed and like wow like I thought this game was gonna be the top game of the year, but I have to see about it. But I know for a fact this game is gonna be good, no doubt about it. You know the gameplay is hot, um, the AI is pretty smart. I mean, the whole nine like is more adventurous. I like action games. I don't like games that's more dull. That's that's pretty much boring. I, I want a game that's is more exciting that's more appealing that that's driven like with the story um basically the story is going to be better um monstrous but who cares i mean people got their own perceptions towards the game but um what else then you got detroit becomes human so basically, the game is pretty much like um, Until Dawn, and I forgot the, the name of the game that came out on the PlayStation 3, I forget the name of it. But it's something like a mysterious game that you pretty much investigate, you know, different evidence of situations. But this game is pretty much different. Now you can create your own story. You can pretty much dictate how the story will come apart um basically you get to choose you know different options you get to choose to kill the enemy or you can actually get the enemy to escape i mean the list goes on but this game pretty much has that full potential i can tell based on the gameplay but we have to see about it i have to see more gameplay of it they showed the cinematic of it they didn't show the full gameplay of it but if they showed the full gameplay of it, play of it pretty much, I'll probably get a, a bigger picture, a bigger aspect of the game. Probably have my own impressions towards it. Um, what else? Dang. Then you got Resident Evil Biohazard. Um, the game is really scary. You can tell based on the gameplay. It was, it's really scary. It's more dark. 
then they put it into the first person view which they never shown in any console now you can they have it on the playstation 4 i believe they have it for the demo i haven't tried it out but i probably need to try it out to see for myself but you can tell that game is really 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 scary it is scared of like the crap out of you like seriously you're gonna go out your seat right now but it might not go out my seat but uh i have to try it out for myself and see what the deal is it's probably it's like a remaster now so they so this time they added new elements now they put like the first person view um i mean i don't know what else they put in but i know they put the first person view of the game um what else they put in i think that's it it is but it's all but however it is vr playable like if you now personally with the vr like i'm not too sure about the vr but I'm not too excited about the VR, but at the same time, I would like to try it out, try it out to see if it's more exciting, that's more appealing. But you can tell if you use the VR, you can tell that you get a more inside view of the gameplay. You can pretty much put yourself in the gameplay and, and see the experiences of the game. Um, pretty much, you can feel like pain, you can feel emotional aspects of it when you play it um the vr i can tell it's a lot of money i know it's gonna be like probably about like maybe around a range of about like 400 or either 300 dollars at least some, that amount of money um they show it's supposed to come out the playstation vr is supposed to come out october the 13th which is showed and it's they have 50 games exclusive for the VR, for the PlayStation VR. Um, then they show Final Fantasy XV. I'm not too good about the Roman numerals, numbers. I'm, I'm a little, I have a little understanding of it, but I don't, I'm not really good at understanding the um, Roman numerals. But um, the XV VR, they, it's coming out for the VR. I mean, pretty much every exclusive that's coming out for the vr is pretty much comes out this year um they got final fantasy i haven't played final fantasy i was never a big fan of final fantasy until i looked at the gameplay i might need to try it out and, and see for myself um the gameplay of itself it looks fun um you can pretty much do a lot of things you can pretty much interact with you know environment pretty much the graphics looks apart I would apply that to them um what else then they show Call of Duty Infant Warfare I'm, I don't really care about that game really pretty much it got to the point where Call of Duty is just the same old same old thing over and over again they probably added new elements to it in terms of you know the gameplay in terms of the weapons in terms of the graphics um and the graphics is no different I mean, it's the same old, same old each year. But I hope they stop calling Call of Duty and make it something that's more different, you know, or more original. It seems like Call of Duty is, is like, it's just not original anymore. Like, they just took that out of order now. It's just like, it's the same thing over and over again, over and over again. Nothing new under the sun. Um, then they got... You know the Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered. Um, that game is really that was a really good game. Like that was like the best Call of Duty games that I ever played in my life. I haven't finished it. I had it for the I think it was on the Xbox 360. I had it. It was like around 2009. It came out and it was really it was really good. Like the graphics, gameplay. They took it to like a more like historical aspect of the game. And then they put it to like a terrorist organizational type of mission that you encounter. Like you kill all these people like at the airport. Um, then they got Crash Bandicoot Remastered and Skylander. Crash Bandicoot, it got me to the point where it's like, wow, Crash Bandicoot, they took the detail, they took the graphics to a way different, more level. Um, now they got the game like it's not like really like detailed but it's it's more lightning it's, it's more colorful with the game 
um, pretty much. Then they have Skylander Imaginations, which it came with the um, Crash Bandicoot Remastered. Um, that's supposed to come out pretty much next year or either the end of this year. I don't know exactly the date, but pretty excited about that game. Um, what else? Then they have Lego Star Wars Force Awakening. I don't really care about that game. I just like, I was like, okay, whatever. I don't really want to watch it anymore. That's why I was telling you early um, in the beginning of the video. But then they showed Death Stranding. That game pretty much was blown to the point where it's like, man, like Hideo Kojima made a, a more masterpiece type of game. Like, hopefully, it's more different than Metal Gear Solid. Um, Phantom Pain is is way better than Phantom Pain, but you can tell this game is gonna be more story driven in terms of the the cultural distress of the characters that he's going through on a day to day basis. And pretty much, I don't know the detail of it, but I know it's going to be more like they in the development right now. It's going to be delayed in, in too many years. Like it's probably going to be delayed in 2018, um, probably going to be out in 2018. Um, just like Metal Gear Solid. Metal Gear Solid is supposed to come out in 2015. Phantom Pain is supposed to come out in 2015, but it was supposed to come out in 2014. Or 13, but they delayed it into 2015, and that game was really. I, I had fun in that, with that game. Like, if you're not into stealth, you're not into the story. This game is not going to be for you. And basically, with Death Stranding, that game is going to be more stealth. I can tell because Hideo Kojima, he pretty much deal with a lot of stealth, and he's more creative with the story in terms of you know different protagonists going against the other antagonists um what else i can't wait for that game to come out it's not gonna come out next year i know for sure it probably gonna come out in 2018 but there's one more game or either two more games that i want to talk about then they showed spider-man when i saw that it got me off my seat like seriously that the graphics like, I'm really shocked to what I saw with the Spider-Man game that comes for PlayStation 4. They didn't show the release of it, but it's still in development. But, you know, I'm really excited about it. I'm not a big of a fan of Spider-Man games, but when I saw it, it got me to the point where it's like, wow, like the graphics, the animation. They didn't show, like, the gameplay, like, the full gameplay but they show like snippets of it but hopefully they show some gameplays in the near future but um then after that they show days gone they show gameplay of that which i talked about that and i'm really excited about that game that's supposed to come out in the near future but um yeah just see what you think about this video leave your thoughts comments like subscribe i know it's a long video but had to get this off my chest you know I'm, I'm pretty much bored right now you know i'm on vacation but hey it is what it is share this video give it a like and i'm out deuces peace salute god bless